I often wonder what I would have been like if I would have had any sort of positive male role models when I was growing up. I mean, a father would have been nice. I had my mind died when I was four of a brain tumor, so I, I didn't even get to know him in the last couple of years of his life. I mean, he, he, he could barely function, so... But it, it didn't have to be a father. It just had to be some sort of someone I could comfortably confide in regarding male behavior. You know, what is it that makes sense for a guy? What are the bare essentials and bare necessities? When does something become decadent? What is real valor and what is commendable for a man? What is actually shameful behavior for a man other than the whole God doesn't approve kind of crap? What is something to strive for? What is self-discipline and why is it important? What's the most convenient and beneficial way to categorize your thoughts? your surroundings, your interactions, when you're a guy. What is actually expected of you in society as a guy? I mean, it doesn't mean I'd have to follow what's expected, but you have to understand what the rules are before you can really break them in a, a meaningful way. And I should have understood at least a bit of what is expected. You know, these sorts of things aren't something that you can just completely make up, uh, you know, out of the blue without anything to relate it with and expect to be able to relate with society. By the time I was 12, it had been pounded into me by Sunday schools that I had went to that the desire to look at women naked is a sin and you'll burn in hell for eternity for knowingly indulging in it. And I, of course, wanted to be a good boy. By the time I was 16, I had been thoroughly taught by my mother and by school and by some of media that it's degrading to women to find them sexually attractive. More specifically, it's degrading to sexually objectify women. So, church said it's bad, my mother said it's bad, the school says it's bad, media says it's bad, I guess it's bad. And, again, I wanted to be a good boy. I came out as gay when I was 17, before I had ever even seen a picture of a vagina. I saw that picture the first time when I finally was able to go into adult bookstores when I was 18. I went in there with a friend, another gay male friend, and we, when we saw some of the pictures, we just kind of hold them up to each other and go, ew, fish, right? That, that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, so that's what uh, gay men would sometimes call women, fish. You know, ew, you're, you're a gay man. Why would you ever want to mess with that flappy, fishy thing? It's quite obvious to me now that uh, by the time I was 20, I was deeply entrenched in gay male culture. 90s gay male culture spat in the face of all the notions and restrictions that are often put onto straight guys. It was the notion that being sexually objectified is the ultimate goal. It professed that... Anonymous sex and even public sex is hot, and you should be able to get extra man points for being able to pull it off. Yeah, again, a total spit in the face of what is expected out of straight guys. Except that I was never really able to be comfortable with any of it, honestly. I've had three satisfying sexual encounters total in my life. The rest have ranged from disaster to meh. And it's all been on my part. But to go back a bit, also by the time I was 17, I had gotten to deeply understand just how much organized Abrahamic religion hates gay people. Thankfully, my mother was supportive and she was one of the first people I came out to and my friends were supportive as well. Looking back, I just seriously wonder what I would have been like had I have had a male role model, a positive male role model growing up to give me tips on how to navigate society as a guy. Apparently, that kind of thing isn't needed anymore, now that binary genders are considered chuggy. The illusion of more choice seems to be where it's at now. Have a joy-joy day!